This episode is made possible by our sponsor, Landmark College, the college for students who learn differently, offering comprehensive supports for students with ADHD and other learning differences, both on campus and online. Learn more at lcdistraction.org. Hello, this is Dr. Ned Hallowell with a mini episode of Distraction. I was just asked by my illustrious producer, whom I always obey, to give listeners some way they can reverse the course of an escalating conflict. She just hands me this. How do you de-escalate a situation? And with no preparation, with only a prod from the lovely Sarah Gurton, I will do my best. Well, what you don't do is what you usually do do, which is yell and scream and say, shut up. You escalate the situation. That's easy to do. Just jump in and pump in passionate energy, which will be feeding oxygen to the fire. So if that's how you escalate, it must be to de-escalate, you reverse that. You deny the fire its oxygen. So you de-escalate yourself. If you're standing up, you sit down. Body language matters. If you're close to the person, you back away. Again, body language, distance matter. You don't scream. You lower your voice. You don't swear. You use calming words like, where can we find a place to agree? Or, how would we like this situation to end up? So, de-escalate. Deny the fire oxygen. Lower your voice. Sit down. Back away. Look for points of agreement. Listen. Maybe the most important point of all. Be quiet and listen. Sooner or later, the other person or persons will have spent what they have to spend, will have vented what they had to vent, and will join you in a quiet, de-escalated spirit of communication and cooperation. This is Dr. Ned Hallowell with a few calming words on de-escalating conflict. The episode you just heard was made possible by our sponsor, Landmark College, the college for students who learn differently, offering comprehensive supports for students with ADHD and other learning differences, both on campus and online. Learn more at lcdistraction.org.